Yo, yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to sell shirts on Merch by Amazon. Welcome back to my channel. My name is RJ Martinez. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to sell shirts on Merch by Amazon. Uh, personally, myself, I have sold over 160K in royalties all the time with Merch by Amazon, uh, over 50K in products, right? All time on my account. But uh, my favorite thing to sell on Merch by Amazon is, is shirts, right? T-shirts. And the ones that do really well on my account are the black colored t-shirts, right? With that being said, it's when it comes to t-shirts, it's like 90% of my account that I've sold. Uh, so there's other, of course there's other products, but t-shirts are number one. Um, and that's uh, it's a, it's a, it's a sign, right? So when, when I make a design, I focus more on t-shirts, designing for t-shirts, okay? Um, yeah, so uh, first things first, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, um, please comment down below and I'll be getting to all of them, okay? And it's very important that you guys stay to the very end of this video if you guys want to be successful on Merch by Amazon when it comes to selling t-shirts, right? Or even just generated streaming income, right? Uh, so what is print on demand? Print on demand is basically what you're gonna do is create a design, put it on a t-shirt, Amazon prints it on the shirt, takes care of the customer service, the returns, and ships it off to the customer, and you just collect the royalty. For real, it's literally that simple. Um, it's really awesome, really amazing time that we live in, and this is a really amazing opportunity. Um, I recommend you take advantage of it definitely take advantage of it and uh, let's make some money baby all right so step number one is uh, getting ex accepted if you don't have your account already one of the most important things uh, is when you're filling out the application process make sure you fill out all the blanks fill out everything right um, a little tip too as well if you have a FBA a seller central account um, from what I've been seeing and what I've heard you'll get accepted faster into Merch by Amazon. So that's a little tip right there. But yeah, do not leave nothing blank, okay? Very important. Step two is research and learning the algorithm. So important, okay? It's like number one, um, aside of, besides getting accepted and stuff like that. Number one is researching and learning the algorithm and how it works. Learning how like if a customer is searching for a product and figuring out what they're searching for and then Give them what they want, right? Basically, it's that simple give the customer make it easier on the algorithm and, and yourself If you see a customer certain searching for a certain product or certain searching for a certain phrase Give them what they want Give them what they want the algorithm is going to reward you and you're gonna make money for real. So it's literally that simple um, you're just researching, understanding the platform, stuff like that, learning the algorithm. Usually that's how you're going to make money. Okay. That applies to pretty much every single platform, whatever platform you are in a marketplace that you're on, it applies to it. If you can learn that, so you can get more eyes on your product, make more money. Step number three, number three, uh, is learning, uh, your niche, right? Select a niche, pick a niche, pick any niche. It can be any niche. Um, but, um, I recommend you starting off with a niche that you understand, that you like, that you enjoy. It makes it more easy and more funner for you to design for, right? Um, you can, a niche is basically dog, like dog niche, and then a sub niche into that is like a, like a certain dog, like for example, English bulldog, um, a cat, and then sub niching into like different types of cats, anything, uh, tacos, burritos, okay? That is a niche, right? And then you sub niche down, you're getting, getting more passionate to the customer and more direct, right? So um, very important that you like understand like your ideal customer and what they want and stuff like that, selecting your niche, all that stuff, all that learning stuff about your niche, all the, all the, uh, the knowledge that you need to learn about your niche is uh, very important to you making your first sales on this platform and just in general, like long-term too as well. Rinse and repeat and applying this once you even grow your account to that level or even if, if a, a, a beginner, right? All right, so step number four, it's design, right? Um, once you get your research down and all that stuff, designing comes next. Uh, simple does sell. Text-based designs do really well. Illustrations do really well. Illustrations you create, less competition for yourself, and be honest with you, less competition for yourself. Text-based designs, a lot of people like to copy those and make their own version of it or whatnot. 
now with the illustration, it's more unique and different from everyone else, right? Um, you have an artist on your team. If you're not an artist, you can outsource, okay? Find a, a illustrator that can draw and um, help you make designs. I do it. Text-based designs, you can make them on your phone. Don't complicate it. Real simple, real easy, okay? Don't overthink none of the stuff that I'm telling you. You can make it on your phone. You can make a text-based design on your phone using the Over app. You can use Canva. Um, there's a lot of tools out there that you can use to help you design if you suck, right? I suck at designing, so I outsource, okay? Um, and I, I built a team, stuff like that. It's uh, something that I like to do, right? Saves me a lot of time so I can create content to help other people. Um, and, and it's literally, it's that simple, for reals. Step number six, I'm gonna say it's gonna be uh, like studying your, uh, your competition. Um, when, you, when you go into a certain niche, right, and you're designing for it, you're gonna see some, some people just come into your niche and um, compete with you, right? Um, as you start to do designing and stuff like that and be the best in your niche, um, you're, you're in a way you're almost, you're creating competition for yourself because people are going to see that on the platform that this design is doing really well. This t-shirt's doing really well and it's selling really well. So I'm going to make my own version of it. And yes, and that's normal. Um, but at the end of the day, you're competing with yourself, but you're going to see your competitors come in and try to knock you off. And that's, that's, that's part of the game, right? Um, so what you need to do is make sure you're on top when it comes to learning your niche and just outdoing yourself. If you have a top selling uh, t-shirt in one niche, make another one, make another one, okay? Um, try to beat yourself, try to be the best, try to outdo yourself. And you by, by you doing that, you'll have three or four or five shirts on the front page making consistent sales. Um, also too, if you have AMS, right? Um, if you don't, I don't know what to say, you should have it, right? They're giving us all access to it with the new advertisement tab up there on the Merch by Amazon uh, dashboard. But if you don't have it, uh, you need to figure out a way, but use AMS to your advantage. I made six or seven new shirt sales last week, right? And these are new niches, right? That I've just jumped, dived into, but I put some AMS behind it. Um, it's very important that as soon as you upload a design, run some AMS as soon as possible to it because you'll get more eyes on it. More eyes on it uh, increases your chance of making your first sale, right? Understanding that, um, it's gonna, it's gonna push your design more. AMS is gonna make more sales, and you're gonna stand out from your competition. A lot of these uh, people that are copying your designs, pixel for pixel, they can't compete when it comes to AMS because um, they're scared. They're scared to spend money, invest in their business, spend money on advertisement. They don't want to spend money. They wanna, um, they just wanna leverage the platform and make easy money. Well, newsflash: <laughs> in order for you to stand out and be to make more sales, running AMS. It's not a bad idea. It's actually a really good idea, right? You're gonna increase, increase your chances of making sales, but not only that, um, make your first sale, then you start ranking in the algorithm, and this is how you get like a bestseller in a niche, right? Get that Amazon choice badge, and uh, number one new release, okay? Uh, whatever it is, right? Get one of those ba one of those fancy badges next to your shirt, it's be um, and right, running AMS will increase the chances of that happening too as well. After everything, you're collecting your royalty, making some money, right? Uh, how much can you make, right? And this is like collecting your royalties. It's easy, right? Getting you setting your bank, up, bank account and getting it transferred over to your bank account and all that stuff. Um, but how much money real, realistically can you make each month? I want to say if you work at this really hard for a year, okay, you can make anywhere between three thousand and five thousand dollars a month consistently, okay. But you got to work at it. This is not. It's not before. It was a lot more easier because we had not that many, uh, not that much competition. Uh, but now it's a little bit more challenging. You have to be different when it comes to your design. That makes you stand out. That increases your chance of your sales, right? But realistically, three to five K a month. But I want to say you want to work at this for a whole year for you to be able to have that consistent stream of income that will pay for your bills or whatever it may be. Um, it's it's a definitely a challenge. But as you rank your products, rank your T-shirts, um, they're gonna make those long-term sales for you and rank better. The more, the better that your shirts rank in the algorithm, the more sales you'll get, okay? Um, and, and that's pretty much like a, one of the most important things to me, having consistent sales every single month, right? Um, and everything that I've, we talked about, it, it plays a factor into you to make consistent sales and make money. Uh, when it comes to tearing up on your Merch by Amazon account, um, I always recommend just start because you'll make more sales if you price your products low. It's just proven fact. I've done it over and over and over. 
So if you're not making no profit at the beginning for you to focus on tearing up to get out of the lower tiers, uh, tier, under, under the lower tiers of 500, you have to of course have 80% upload. So 400, over 400 live designs and of course over 500 sales. Um, in order for you to do, to do that, um, you have to have the sales volume, right? And, and to tear up to that next level to have the design space for you to put up designs. Uh, me personally, myself, I'm over, I'm over at a hundred K tier. So I have, <laughs> you know, I can upload a ton of designs. Um, but of course I want designs that sell, right? It doesn't matter what tier you're at at the end of the day, but because the goal is to have designs that sell. If you can have, you can be at 500 tier and have 400 designs that are selling consistently, right? And next thing you know it, two months, three months from now, if 400 designs are selling consistently, you're gonna have over 1,200 to 1,600 sales, right? So at that point, the tier doesn't really matter because you're gonna have double the amount of sales. But when you're first starting to get the, to learn the algorithm, for you to understand the learn the al learning the algorithm and understanding the algorithm for yourself, right? Personally, yourself, it's all about testing, testing, trial and error, right? Making mistakes, getting rejections. Um, that's all part of the game, right? Um, learning how to price your products, what works for you. I can't tell you to price your how how to price your products, but I can tell you what data that I've received personally myself. Um, I know pricing really low will help you get out of the lower tiers because you'll make more sales faster. Right now, personally myself, I'm uploading straight to $19.99 with standard t-shirts and they're making a $5 royalty. So those those five or seven shirts that I listed that made sales last week that were new, they're all listed at $19.99 and it's really cool. And of course, I have AMS running to them and yeah, it's the name of the game, right? So a lot of, a lot of value in this video, a lot of content, follow these steps and you'll definitely be making three to five K a month in the over the next year right um so but it, of course remember it just takes work right it's not going to be easy definitely not going to be easy i want you guys to think that okay if i it, it, it's it's a process right and just work at it for a year work at it for two years right you might not get it in the first year two years right you may get it then and then some of the experiences like when i first started this uh, this journey with merch by amazon at the very beginning it was just it was uh, all about testing right pricing low um, getting that first initial sale, ranking to the front page, and then all of a sudden I noticed that I was making consistent sales uh, for me personally, and then it went from uh, $400 a month to 15 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, right? And it's ever since, like, I, I have one video where I did uh, over 10 or like 13000 or $12,000 in one month, and I believe that was in June. Um, if you guys want to go check that video out too as well, I'll link that down below in the comments or the description, wherever the heck that is. Um, but yeah, man, it just, it's, you know what I mean? It's all about learning and testing at the end of the day, right? Um, what works for you? What things, what do you think works for you? What, what you think works, works for you? It's all about testing and testing is one of my mo the most favorite things for me to do in this freaking world. So, um, yeah, with that being said, check out these videos right here to help you grow your merch by Amazon business.